Stoichiometric calculations all follow roughly the same pattern in that you are normally given some substance or some quantity. Um, if it is a solid, then it would be given in the form of a mass, which we know is always measured in grams. It can also be given in a solution, in which case it would be given as a concentration and a volume. And it can also be given as a gas, in which case it must be given as a volume in cubic decimeters. Now, the first step in order to get from what you've been given to what is required of you is that you must convert it into a number of moles. And the way that we do that is with three different formulae. If you have been given a mass, then you would use this formula. Number of moles is equal to the mass that's been given in grams divided by the molar mass of that substance to get it to a number of moles. If you have been given a solution, you would use the formula number of moles is equal to the concentration of that solution multiplied by the volume of that solution to convert it to a number of moles. And if you have been given a gas, normally this would be given at standard temperature and pressure, uh, in which case your number of moles would be equal to your volume of that gas divided by what's called the molar gas volume, which at STP we know that the molar gas volume is equal to 22.4 cubic decimeters. Now, once you have converted what you have been given into a number of moles, you can then compare that or use that to find what's required of you in a number of moles. And you can do that using the ratio that is obtained from the coefficients of the balancing equations. Now, normally what would happen is you would be asked in the question, you would be asked to calculate the number or the mass of the substance produced or the concentration of the substance produced or the volume of the substance produced, in which case you would just reverse some of these equations. If you were asked for a mass, you would say that your mass is now equal to the number of moles multiplied by the molar mass of that substance. If you were asked for the concentration of the solution, you would calculate that by finding the number of moles over the volume of that solution. You could also be asked for the volume of the solution, which in this case would then be the number of moles over the concentration. And if you were asked to calculate the amount of gas that was produced, again assuming this is at STP, you would do that by saying that your volume is equal to the number of moles multiplied by the molar gas volume. So as you can see, these questions are almost symmetrical in that you are given a substance in either as a solid a solution or a gas. You can use one of these three equations to convert it into a number of moles, at which point you use your ratio that is obtained from the coefficients of your balanced equation to convert it into a number of moles of what is required. And your last step is to use the appropriate equation to convert it either into a solid or a solution or a gas.